Scott Gregg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV. We're joined by, guess who, Mike from Reds once again. Mike, hello again. Hello there. How are you? All right, thank you. How are you? Good. I'm excellent. Good. Thank you. Well, Mike's here this week to show us a couple of, well, they're retail designs. You've obviously got your retail <laughs> shop and people come in and they ask for things and you're a big fan of adding value and yes. upselling Upsells. effectively. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got a couple of things that you're going to show us today. Yeah. There's, I, I see some, some components yeah, so we've got already some, made. Some basics already made. Um, okay. I mean, so these are the sort of things that I would make in front of a customer, yeah. like we did with the numbers previously. Yep. This is something that I would. BMTV, what was that? One, one, one sixteen. One one six, maybe. One, one, <laughs> we'll, we'll put it up on the screen, but it's the one that's had lots and, and lots of views. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, so yeah. So this is something that I'm very happy and very comfortable making in front of a customer to put on a little bit of a show, and they yeah. love seeing how things go together. Yeah. Particularly, we're, we're doing a little bit of confetti work. Yeah. Um, obviously, since these came out, these have made life so much easier yeah, for confetti yeah. and more accessible for people to buy because we can sell them a lot cheaper. Yeah. Confetti balloon, we sell at a premium price yeah. because, because, they're working because you've got to. Yeah. Um, these allow us to hit a bigger audience now, yeah. um, which is great for us. Um, so we sell a lot of these just with helium, singly, clustered around the neck. Yeah. Nice bit of ribbon, and then <coughs> maybe on a smaller version of this yeah. as a base. Yeah. Um, and we sell those quite a few a week. Um, they go out something like sixteen ninety nine. Mm, okay. um, and it's going to add something extra to it. That's going to add potentially around about ten pounds to the design. Yeah. Um, but it's all going to be air filled as well. So we're losing the helium factor, and then we're going to add in. We're going to be using a six forty. Yeah, six four six. Six four six, um, and we're going to confetti fill this. Confetti fill that. Okay. So yeah. it adds a lot of value. For, I mean, an extra tenner. Yeah. But we're also saving from helium as well. So you're saving from helium, so the extra. Which at this moment in time, with all the helium increases, is absolutely is always good. Yeah, no, it's huge. The increase we've just Which, had. Yeah, so. I'm I'm trying to push more air filled designs. Yeah. We do quite a few anyway. Um, it's the way forward. The goal is to sell more airfield. Yeah, absolutely. Until someone figures out a way to sell to charge for air, then yeah, yeah. we're all good. Yeah. So okay. yeah. So where do we start? We've we've got so we've got this cluster already. Yeah. So it's space. just a cluster of five. Um, and another cluster of five. So I've gone with wild berry eleven inch yeah. and just standard pink. What size are these? Five inch. Into? This is done to about uh, seven inches and these are done to just under five. Okay. Um, we're not going to show you the clusters, how to do the clusters, because we've got a BMTV balloon basics on that that we did with Mark when he came in um, a while ago now. So we've got that ready. And with a sand weight underneath yep. uh, in the base, which is here. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, all we're going to do is just pop the sand weight in. Drop it in. So that's in and ready. That always feels so much more solid as soon as you put that on. I, and I always like to overfill my sand yeah. to make it feel heavier. Like yeah. I, I think I said in the numbers one, it, it's only a small design and with nothing in it, it feels like nothing. As soon as you add in a nice chunky sand weight, yeah. it automatically feels... It's more quality. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, good. So yeah, so we've done that bit. Uh, we've got a cluster that's going to go around the neck in a minute. So what we're going to do is confetti fill the... You're going to blow up that by mouth. No, you are. Oh, am I? Okay. All right. Look forward <laughs> to that. Um, so what, I've, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to roll the neck back a little bit and then get our... Balloon neck stretching tool. Specialist balloon neck stretching tool. Not used for any other reasons. No, absolutely not. And all I've got is just some standard pink, uh, what is it? 25 mil 25 confetti. 25 mil confetti, paper confetti. Yep. Do you want me to, to assist in any way? Uh, yeah, have you got a pump handy? A pump? An inflator. A hand pump or an electric uh, an pump? An electric one will do. It's funny you should say that. It's one I prepared earlier. Lovely. There you go, look at that. Okay, so if you want to take that department. Okay. This can be done by one person, but it's just it's nice to get you to How work. How much do you want me to, yeah it is. How much should I put uh, in? So just, yeah, so do you want to, you want to get like, break it up a bit? No, it doesn't need to break wood. The air is going to break it up. Oh, okay, all right. So just shove so it in. Little wedges. That's it. So it's tight. One more lot of that. Okay. So you say the air is going to break all this up? Yeah. 
Okay, I look forward to it. to release it. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's enough in there. <clears throat> so we also need an attachment point in here. So I'm not going to inflate all the way to the end. Okay. So all I'm going to do is just pinch the end. Yeah. About half an inch. Yeah. Are you done with this? Yes, thank you. Okay, I'm going to move that out of the way. You know, I'm thinking that's going to be quite tall. I, I think we might need this stool. Okay. So I'm just going to bend it back into a straightened position. Okay. Because you always get a bit of a kink in it. So I've just got a normal inflation. I'm just going to spread this out as much as I can. And then the static rubbing on here is going to generate and hold the it's getting a bit close there, Mike, to my face. Think health, think safety. That's a good tip. If you to rub it in your hair, oh, I don't it suppose would. you'd know about that, <laughs> would you? Rub it in my beard. Sorry, I couldn't resist. And this will hold for Generally, on display in the shop, it looks good for about three or four days. Oh, really? Sorry. Just from the static? Yeah. It's that, yeah. It does stay. So, as you can see, I'm moving it around yeah. where I want the static to be. So, I'll make, I'll find like a little cluster and then they'll stick in place from it. So, there's a bit of a gap here. So, I could do with a couple in this area here. Knock a couple. It off. sticks so well, you can't knock it off. That looks good. That's those loose ones. Get those in there. There we go. Okay, so now that's finished. So we've got the yep. piece on the end, and that's going to tie into this. So all I've done is air inflated this and tied it with a 260. Yep. There we go, the left hand. <coughs> so I want it to be nice and tight in here. You always seem to do big things whenever I'm on, on screen with you. I'm not trying I've to say to, anything. I've, I've got to just be out of the way. Just okay. get me off the screen. So that's tied in. Okay. All I'm going to do now is just lose the end of the 646. Yep. And lose the 260s. And then bring in. Oh, if you can Whoa. reach. Thank you. We've got a nice tight connection in there. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Take the base and then we're going to take the nozzle end. It's going to wrap straight into here. Wrap okay. it around a few times. I'm going to put this down. And again, you need to pull it nice and tight. Some designs you can get away with doing like a figure eight and things, yeah. but I always like to tie this one in okay. as well as the figure eight. And there we go. And there you go. Strain it all up. And so we've gone from a helium filled 17 pound design to a completely air filled 27 to 30 pound design. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. That was really quick to make as well. Yeah. All right. Say so, okay, so Mike, you're going to show us something else, but I think we need to, to tidy up and get prepared. So sure. I'm going to do the clicky finger thing. Hey, and here we are. Right, so we're, we're prepared we are. for this next one. So now, what, what's different about this next one? Okay, so again, we're looking to upsell a design. This is a helium filled one. Yeah. Um, can't really get away with it without, you need helium in it yeah. for what we're doing. Well, some um, things you're going to. And what we're using, we're using one of the Qualitex clouds. So. You kind of want the movement of a helium, Ooh. just like that. Just like that. Yeah. So these are great, just on their own. Um, you can personalise them with vinyl. Yeah. Um, messages, faces, and all sorts of different things. Um, but again, you kind of want to sell it with something else. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so having that with a happy birthday next to it is okay, but we don't want to sell okay. 
You want to you want to make it spectacular. Exactly. So what I'm going to okay. do, I'm going to add a happy birthday balloon into this. Okay. Um, same techniques that I've used before um, with giant numbers. Um, it's quite we quite often do it in the shop with say it's a number three. Mm -hmm. We'll have a happy birthday attached to the okay. side of it. All right. Yeah. So it's all combined. Yeah. Um, so we're going to be using some quick links. We've got standard clusters. Yeah. Um, clusters around the neck. Um, little bit of organic type ish. Stuff. All right. Okay. Good. So yeah. And of course, you're going to be using using stretchy balloon yes, tape. Yes, my old friend. Yes, indeed. Are you calling me my old friend? <laughs> All right. Thanks. <laughs> I know you're young and I'm old, but so no need for that. I've got a nice couple inch piece of stretchy tape. So yep. what I like doing is just fold, peel the first strip down, fold it back, and leave it on. That way, I'm not getting any grubby fingers all over it. Yep. Because that does reduce the tackiness of it. So if I can grab that from you, I have a pre-stretched and tied um, 260, so I'm just going to lay it across and then the stretchy tape is going to go across that and pop it. So I quite often when I'm prepping jobs, so let's say this is a Saturday morning collection, mm -hmm. Friday night I would have this, so the before it's inflated, I'd be doing all this bit on an uninflated yeah. balloon, yeah. ready to come in Saturday morning and inflate everything. We quite often inflate on a Friday night as well, yeah. Yeah. just so we know, especially with design like this, because if we do it on the spot and something goes wrong with it, you waste time when you've got a busy yeah. shop. Yeah. So yeah, we've done that. And you can inflate foils the day before. No oh yeah, yeah, at all. definitely. Yeah. We, we just struggle this time of year because we've got a cold shop in the winter. Yeah, so it's yeah. It's amazing how the balloons change when you go from hot to cold. So I'm just going to reinforce this one with a couple of one inch strips down the sides. You don't have to do this, but it just stops any unfortunate balloons moving. Belt and braces. Okay. Again, we're going to get some heat in there. So Helps it. Okay, so that's now ready. So I've already okay. tied off um, the inflation valve uh, with a 260 again because yep. we're going to use that to connect into later. And we are now going to use we've got the happy birthday cloud, which I think goes great with it. Obviously, they came out together. Um, it just has a nice bit of colour into it yeah, as well. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is just tie this in. So do you tie that quite close? Do you leave a bit of a gap? You want to, because we're going to add um, this cluster into it as well. So okay. you do kind of want this, and this this is going to be built upon as well. Yeah. So we're okay. going to put a few more extra little bits in there. Trim off the excess. Twist that around. So that that could happily go out like that yeah yeah um, you can because of the shape of it you, you can actually see your fixing points through it so I'd, yeah i just want to kind of hide that a little bit okay uh, so i'll put that on the ceiling so how are you going to hide it so i'm just going to do a few little missized uh five inch ones oh, is this where the organic ish yeah. feel comes yeah. in so i'm just going to take them to the max And then I don't want to tie these. So normally when you're doing is like you want these nice and tight to the yeah, neck. I'm yeah. actually going to tie these closer to the nozzles. Yeah. So a, got a bit of nice stretch there. Bit yeah. of stretch in there. And same again. So 
So I obviously just got 260Qs that were a different colour, but you'd probably go for 260Qs that are the same colour. There was an open bag. Okay, so there's just the... So we, that's all we're using, just four balloons. Yep. And um, we're going to grab this back. And they are just literally just going to bring them in, fold them around. Same with that one. So now what we can do is sort of tweak and move. Because you're not measuring those other ones, each one that you do will be slightly different. Yeah. Which is also nice as well. So there's no rules. You nope. just, just play with it until you get a look that you're happy with. That's it, yeah. Again, it's, exactly, it's following the theme of, yeah, yeah. of the clouds. Yes, we've got the straight sizes there. You could do the same thing with these. Yeah. In terms of me getting these out of the shop nice and quickly, I would just do that. You can, I could bit of ribbon to more. that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so now we're going to sort of add a bit more wispiness. Would you say? Whis Cloudiness. Okay. Yes. Let's be wispy. <clears throat> so instead of using uh, ribbons, I'm going to use um, six-inch quick links. So you're air filling those, is that going to be enough helium in there to yeah. support it? Yeah. Okay. I've just done six pumps on that first one. Yep. The the sizes really don't matter on this. Okay. This will be new. So what I'm going to do is just take it down a little bit. This time we do want to get the next nice and tight. Yeah. Do you like quick wings? I do. I've used them once or twice. Yeah. And I'm going to lose the nozzles as well because, again, we want it, the floatiness we've got in those. Liftability. Liftability. Yes. What's wrong with my words today? I don't know. <laughs> floatiness is a much nicer word though. <laughs> uh, and again, so I've got my big one here. And that's that. So that's a five inch. I'm going to... That's a normal five inch. Is that what you want? Well, that's it. Ah, it gets me every time. Okay, so I'm just going to take it down a little bit more. So we're going with six here in total. Okay. If I was doing, if it's in the shop with this on the premium twin air, yeah. I know that can go down in point one of a step, yeah. and it'll be measured. Not exactly, but you get the nice steps. It's, yeah. You can't really replicate it with this hand pump. So that's what you're trying to do: is get one each smaller, yeah. each one smaller. Not a lot, so half an inch each size. Yeah. cut as much as that neck off as possible so I'm pulling it out so the knot's really tight and then pull that as far as I can so, so you've got good, good floatiness it, yeah. yeah good floatiness word of the week huh? <laughs> there we go one two three four five last one I think that should be the question of the week this week what is your favorite made-up word <laughs> <laughs> that's not made up it's in the dictionary I saw it on countdown the other day did you yeah floatiness floatiness okay Okay, so just the basic six link chain. Yep, very good. So what I want to do, I'm going to start with the smallest at the bottom and yeah. then go in up to the big one. Yeah, makes sense. But there's no rules. There are no rules. Do it the other way if you want to. Especially not with floatiness. <laughs> Definitely not with floatiness. So just going to tie this into the 260. Actually, there probably are rules. The principles and elements of design that Mark always tells me about. So I'm going to take that back. There probably are some rules. So that's in. So we've got the little tail on it. Very good. So I'm going to pop this down on here. So this is just going to tie into the base. 
again with the other one you could figure of eight it but I always like tying into the base when it's supporting. That's rubbish. Yeah. It's all right. They happen. Balloons are designed to break. They are designed. Well they're not designed to break. They just do break sometimes. Do you want to do it up here so everybody can see? I'll okay, hold this. So we just had a little mishap. One's popped. Just tied a new one. So you've had one of the five inch burst at the bottom. And this one can just wrap around. Job done. And there you go. No one will ever know. Okay, so I just want to finish it off now because you can still see the side yep. bits. I never like leaving the necks. So as we did with the other one, I'm going to sort of miss-size them again. This is crying out for personalisation, isn't it? Is. it? Yeah, and again, it's another tenner. Yeah, yeah. So again, I'm just going to hold them in some body just so they round off. Like I say, you, yes, you've got a lot of air going on, but there's enough between these two to yeah. keep it floating for certainly a week. Looking good. Well, there's a lot of floatiness in there. You had the. <laughs> you, obviously, if you add vinyl in, you've got to you be careful what that. font you're going to use. Yeah. Um, you want to use something nice and thin. Um, yeah. Just so that it reduces on the amount of material going on it. But cool. All right, let's put that down. There we go. And that is it. For this week. Mike, question of the week. What's it going to be? What's your favourite made up countdown word? What's your favourite made up word? <laughs> Leave your answers down below on Facebook and on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>